Okay, looking at the stutter matrix, I've got four little beats here of a song that's a little bit chopped already without stutter at it, but take a listen. <laughs> All good, and I have my stutter edit loaded on the master fader. And I wanted to point out, as I have already, because I told you guys already, that the stutter matrix events, these orange guys, dictate where these little balls hit and what they hit along the gesture. So watch this. Okay, so what, what you're hearing right there is exactly the events that are dictated in this gesture. Now, I want to hear it better by opening up this stutter length. So I'm just going to pull this and say full range. Now you can see it move along. Why didn't I before? Because, because, let me lock it back down again. If I have it locked somewhere, it'll just stay on that event, okay? Okay, now let me just show a couple of little housekeeping items with the stutter matrix. A, let's just blow all this down as a matter of fact. Goodbye, sorry BT, sorry Richard Devine, bye bye. All right, so now I've just got this little patch, let's hear it. Okay, we're just hearing the stutter matrix. Now I can command click, hold down the Apple key, command, bam, and then I can move all these, but I can't lose the last one. Why? Because this their stutter edit has to have one place to come in. And it's saying it's basically saying in the buffered audio, you're gonna select the eighth note and it's the one place you come in. What happens if I have two? I can get rid of the second, but not the first. Why? Well, this is why it's this these two guys are locked together lock lock if I right click this open up to full range then I can get rid of that and I have put another one in but I can't get rid of this why they're locked that way okay so that is a is how it works it's locked now let's take a listen to that <laughs> Okay, so it's basically going from those to those values. Now, I'm just going to point out a couple of other things. I will take all these half notes right here. I got to unlock that guy and stop it. All right, there we go. So now what am I going to get here? When I spread the notes here, I'm going to get the half note, regular half note, dotted half, and a triplet. So it's kind of kind of jumble through some beats that are very close together. Have a listen. Okay, what happens if we shuffle up uh, from between dotted? See, I can't get rid of that. Done. Up between dotted and eights like this. Oops, why I can't hear it? Because I gotta open this up. Open up. Okay, so it's checkerboarding. Uh, there are songs and, and sets and everything that where triplets sound better, and I believe this is one of them actually. So let us uh, do a little shuffle uh, on the triplet. You can see how that sounds. Sucker, get out of there, boy. Okay, I'm gonna lock between these two notes, so remember how to do that. We just go there and then lock it while well, it was locked. Okay, so we're designating where stutter edit comes back down. Now can I can I do something like this? Just have a note. Unlock these guys. Get out of there. Bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah. Oh, 
crap. Uh huh. Check that out. How about making a chord? Well, why not? Let's do that. I don't hear any difference, uh, Bill. You you suck. I can't hear it, poor baby. Hey, it's because this is locked. Get it up and through there. Here we go. Basically, uh, just an entire harmonic area here. Now I gotta spread this open again. Okay, got it. So the matrix is where you tell the little white ball to go. That's it. Okay. All right. So I hope you're good. And then my little trick of command or the little trick of command click is great. So go through and listen to some of BT's little patches and see what they do right here. See, that's great. That is an amazing use right there. It's those little high notes. Let's see if we can get it to go higher. Whoops. I'm just going to put a... Let's go E flat. I love that. Whoops, what did I do? Quantize, we'll get into that next.